Hi there, folks, it's Danny. You know, MMORPGs aren't as much popular as they used to be, but nevertheless, there are some games that are still alive today. And you know what? That's what we are gonna talk about today. Well, sit back and relax. Today I'm gonna show you the best MMORPGs at the moment that still have a lot of people playing. But before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Okay, let's get started. Today's video is going to start with something dynamic. So, here's Destiny 2. This game was released in 2017 and at first was not free to play. But luckily, those days are gone and now anyone can try it for free. What's cool about this game is the updates that are still coming out regularly. In fact, Destiny 2 is probably the most successful looter shooter ever. Well, let's talk a little bit about gameplay. Here you can both go through the single player campaign and participate in online battles. If you are more inclined to the single player campaign, then you will find a very exciting story that is a typical never ending MMORPG for you. Oh, and one more thing. There is a new Lightfall DLC that came out quite recently and it introduced a continuing story, a new season, activities, mechanics, gear and even a new strength subclass. So now each character has uh, four places and, uh, well, other cool stuff. All in all, this game looks insanely cool. And since it's free, you can try it anytime. Another game that I think will always be hot is Warframe. It's a cool cooperative third-person shooter. The events of the game take place in a universe with different factions fighting for power. Here you control the ancient ten warriors, the Warframes. Each Warframe he has its own abilities. And yes, the updates are rather frequent here too. For example, on the 26th of April, the Duweary Paradox. Update was released and it allowed players to visit the 4th Warframes open world, a split world with the strange islands, where the landscape changes its color depending on how the lord of these lands feels. What's more, there is now something of a new start here for all new players. New players will not be able to choose whether to start the game in the new world or in the standard world. Well, speaking of gameplay in general, you be constantly improving your character here. Basically, that's it. Almost all the gameplay activities here are designed to improve your character. Well, that sounds pretty logical. So, long story short, there is a ton of content here, and I'm afraid I can't tell you everything in this video, so you'd better see it for yourself. Another infinitely hot MMORPG is Black Desert. Personally, I think this game is still one of the best MMORPGs ever. Frequent updates, new in-game content, new missions and even better graphics are what this game has to offer. This game literally pulls you in from the very first minute and doesn't bore you even months later. Well, it has everything you expect from an MMORPG, story mission, side quest, permanent character upgrades and most importantly a huge open world and now it's time to jump into the game now all the seasonal events were also extended so you can easily finish improving your character and since improving your character is in fact the main thing to do here it's a very important and one more thing this may be the most beautiful MMORPG that ever excited Well, I guess uh, I don't need to explain to you what World of Warcraft uh, is. It is the oldest living MMORPG at the moment. And what's more, there are still a lot of people playing it. And guess uh, why? New content, of course. So, you know what? I think it would be a great idea to go and see all this new stuff right now. Let me tell you a little bit about what's new there. They've redesigned their flights as much as possible, added new race, new locations, 
missions and quests, and also they were aided more dragon stories. Sounds interesting, right? What's more, <laughs> the graphics here are constantly being improved. Well, everything sounds very promising, so why not try this game right now? Well, next we have Albion Online. This is an MMORPG in a medieval sandbox setting with an open world without any class restrictions and crafting. The game has an extensive skill system that allows you to customize and upgrade your character the way you want. Gameplay is like endless adventures through a fantasy and sometimes a very dangerous world, mining resources and learning a pretty good story. And and like the games uh, we have already talked about today, there are constant updates that bring more and more new content of the game. Well, speaking of recent updates, they have opened up access to the new East Albion server. And while it's primarily meant for the Asian community, everyone is free to be playing it uh, from scratch. In general, this game never stands still and constantly gives players something new, and that's uh, very cool. So, there are some people who love Skyrim so much that they, like, literally don't want to leave it. But since Skyrim isn't about MMORPGs, these people decided that it would be a good idea to try the multiplayer game The Elder Scrolls Online. And you know what? It really was a good idea, because this game also often gives its players something new. Like the other games in the series, the action unfolds on the continent of Tamriel on the planet Nirn. The events of the game take place about 1000 years before the story that was introduced in Skyrim. Well, you will have to create your own character and go on an adventure. And although this world is already huge, it's still constantly growing. And well, it's about to get even bigger as the Necrom update is on its way. It will allow you to visit the Telmani Peninsula in Morrowind, will introduce a new storyline and a new rune master class, allowing you to use the power of ancient things and forgotten books to create the magic of destruction, restoration and protection. So, it's short, go for it! Next up, we have Guild Wars 2, another game that has been regularly introduced updates for decades. Sounds impressive, right? Well, for quite a long time this game has seen a lot. Lots of new content, rebalanced skills and much, much more. And I'll tell you, all of that has made this game incredibly cool. Well, let's talk a little bit about gameplay. The game is set in the fantasy world of Tyria, which is constantly undergoing changes due to all sorts of uh, like random events. A key feature of the game is that there is no usual class separation, which allows you to create only one character and make him whatever you want. That is, um, in fact, depending on what weapons and equipment you are learning at the moment, you are a member of one class or another, and you can like change your gear and become someone else at uh, any time. Sounds cool, right? So I think you should definitely definitely give this game a try. Next up, we have Lost Ark. It's a game designed in the finest traditions of the MMORPG genre while having a number of some interesting features. The developers have implemented a dozen different professions in the game, both peaceful and related to the battles. For example, you can become a fisherman or gatherer, or you can be a cartographer who explores the previously unseen land and treasure hunter or crazy reckless berserker. The updates are released incredibly often in the game, they are literally like scheduled by the month, so now players should expect to see a female version of Berserk and new events for the character improvement. Also, there will be a new continent, El Gaze. After it, players can check out their skills in a new raid and in August we can see a new Iromancer class and a new Guardian to fight with. And what's more, you can try this game whenever you 
want and you won't feel like you're missing anything because it's pretty easy to catch up on current content here. Aside from the frequent updates, the research stuff here is uh, something else. All in all, this game is definitely worth your attention. Next we have New World. This is a kind of sandbox game. Well, unlike uh, other MMORPGs, there is no fantasy world. Okay, maybe a little. And all the events take place on the North American territory during the colonization period. But apart from that uh, it's pretty standard MMORPG, you choose your character, his job and the aliens they will fight for. The game is particularly noteworthy for its uh, siege and large-scale PvP battles, and uh, since building your forts here is literally a regular activity. You will often rob your neighbors, and you know what? I think it's a good time to try this game, since it has now introduced some really cool content, unlike the, well, crap that we have seen before. Well, today's video is coming to an end, and uh, I suggest taking one last look at EVE Online. In short, it's a pretty good mix of a space simulator and a role-playing game for a bunch of people on one server. The game takes place in the distant future, when people have discovered a space-time tunnel that can move humans to an unknown distant corner of the universe. This tunnel named EVE enabled humans uh, to make a massive transition to new territories and, uh, in fact, to explore them. In fact, uh, that's exactly what you'll be doing here. Well, the economy of the game is also worth mentioning. It is as close to real life as possible. The game has its own virtual currency ISK, which players can use to buy and sell goods and services, competing with each other for supply and demand. In principle, the whole world here is extremely realistic and very beautiful, so you should definitely give it a try. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found something interesting. And if so, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's been Danny, see you guys soon.